everyone, Andrew Seeley here with the WVU Alumni Association, and I want to introduce you to a brand new series we're producing called All Ears. Now, we are going to show you all sorts of things all over the campus, but for the first episode, I sat down with Tony Caridi to talk about his new children's book. Take a look. Tony, I want, to, I want to thank you for, for coming out and, and joining us on our first episode of All Ears. And we are so new to this. Uh, my first question, do, do you have any tips or tricks for me <laughs> and for us as we, as we put together this web series? My only tip would be just be yourself and be natural, which you are. You're not using a pretend voice. You're not playing host. So you're good, man. Go with it. All right. Well, then, then I'm good to go. Now, you just recently released a, a children's book. And we're we're going to get into that, but um, I want to kind of get to know you and, and know a little bit more than what people see and hear uh, when they're listening to, to the Mountaineers play. And so um, tell me, how did you get to West Virginia and how did you become who you are today? Well, a phone call. I had graduated from Syracuse and had been out for seven weeks and was working overnight news at a radio station in Syracuse, New York, and a phone rang. One Saturday morning, I was working overnights, so it was like nine in the morning, and a guy on the other end of the line said, hi, this is Hoppy Kerchival. And long story short, he had an afternoon radio news position here in Morgantown on WHR Radio, and I was just looking to get anything as a first step on air, and came down here, um, fell in love. Uh, with the opportunity, fell in love uh, with West Virginia, and before you know it, 1984 turns to 2017, and uh, married, 29 years, three boys, two of them are graduating this uh, semester here from WVU, and it just goes by unbelievably fast. Now, let's kind of switch gears and talk a little bit more about the, the book that you recently released, and, and tell me why it is you wrote the children's book and, and what it's all about. We go around the state of West Virginia and we point out the iconic little places that you can visit, or big places that you can visit in West Virginia. So I think it does a bunch of different things. I think it teaches young kids about their state. It gives young kids state pride to know that they live in a special, unique place with a bunch of different kind of things that they can do. And I think also it helps them in reading because I, I'm a strong believer that if you can read, then you can absolutely have this massive opportunity throughout the course of your life. And so I, hopefully this will give them a push. Uh, we'll teach them about their state, make them feel good about their state, and I think it's a win-win all the way around. Sure. Uh, well, we absolutely love it at the Alumni Association. We love that, that you're getting students involved and that you're hopefully uh, you know, putting that spark in, in young mountaineers that, that uh, this is a great place to be and this is home. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for coming today. If folks want to pick up a copy of the book, where should they go? Real simple. Uh, easiest thing to do is just go on the website, um, TonyCaridi.com. That's Tony with a Y, not an I. You know, a lot of people spell it with an I. I just don't understand. <laughs> T-O-N-Y, C-A-R-I-D-I. That's the easiest thing. You can just go there. Um, we're selling it uh, various places in the state, you know, here locally. Uh, we're at the Book Exchange um, down in Charleston. We're at Taylor Books. Um, we're down in the Greenbrier County as well. We're up in Wheeling. So various retail places, um, but probably the easiest thing is just to go on the website. All right. TonyCaridi.com. Thank you so much for coming. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. For more with Tony and to check out some of our other videos, head to our website, alumni.wvu.edu. Until next time, I'm Andrew Seeley. Thanks for watching all ears.